So the reason I haven't been going out in the field and shooting and vlogging as much this year compared to last year is because on top of school and homework and all that, I've been working and saving for this. The Canon EF500 F4 Mark II lens. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go find some wildlife to photograph. So as you can see for the first subject here, I'm photographing some geese and a uh, pretty simple subject, about as simple as it gets in terms of wildlife, but they're a great subject to test this lens out on because they'll stay still and uh, they don't get easily spooked. So it'll give me a lot of opportunity to test this lens out in a variety of different lighting situations. And really the primary purpose of this vlog is going to be to test out the EF 500 F4 Mark II lens. And then later on down the road, once I've had a little more time to test it out and see how all the features work on it, I'll do a full in-depth review on it, um, probably right before I head back out to Yellowstone for the rest of the summer. So we had an awesome shoot with those geese last night. Um, I think I got some photos that I was really happy with. And man, can this lens focus in extremely low light. I was so impressed by how well it performed in low light. Definitely a lot better than my 100 to 400. Um, yeah, can, was focusing well after dark and uh, was, was really, really impressive. So that was awesome. And I am really loving this lens so far. And with that, guys, let's go find some more wildlife to photograph. <laughs> Which just take a lot of work. So guys, I've been out here shooting at this location for about 45 minutes now. And uh, this is a really, really good songbird spot. I'd heard this was a great place for songbirds and so far it has been pretty great. Um, lots of different birds flying around here. And one of my favorites, the Eastern Bluebird is out here. I've seen it a few times around here. I haven't gotten any good shots yet, but um, it is definitely a good location for that. And uh, mainly what I've been doing is kind of just scouting out um, on this shoot. Um, I've taken some photos, but for the most part, I've kind of just been watching bird behavior and scouting out some of these locations here to determine exactly where I think is gonna be the best to shoot from, um, because I definitely wanna come back here and shoot more birds in the future. Um, but you know, I kind of needed to get a feel for it first. So that's mainly what I've been doing on this shoot. And I found a couple of good spots. I really like this place right here in front of me where we've got these kind of trees out in this open meadow, because what I'm gonna be able to do is wait on birds to land on perches here. And when they land there, um, there goes a bluebird right there. Um, but birds to land on these trees and when they land there, um, there's a really big separation behind the next line of trees because they're kind of out in this meadow. So I'm going to be able to get that nice, perfect background blur that you want. And they're close enough to me to where I'll be able to uh, get in tight with this big beast um, and the range that it's got and uh, get some photos of them. So I'm excited for that and I definitely will be coming back to this location to shoot more um, and get some of these kind of shots. Um, and so far on this shoot, this thing's been awesome. Um, focus is lightning quick, just like that. And actually on this shoot, I've been testing it out with uh, the 1.4 teleconverter. So I've been shooting at 700 millimeters um, and it's been just as sharp, just as flawless so far. I mean, obviously I haven't gotten the files 
off on the computer yet, um, but looking at them on the back of the camera and zooming in, it looks just as sharp. Um, and, and, you know, we'll do the uh, at the desktop computer review in the actual review video. Um, but for this video, it looks like the teleconverter has had no effect on image quality. So that's awesome. Um, and I've really been enjoying it. So yeah, basically been doing some scouting, um, but now I'm gonna keep shooting and see what else I can get. Let me interject here to remind you all that I'm gonna be giving away a free trip to Alaska where you and I will go to Lake Clark National Park to photograph coastal Alaskan brown bears when I hit 10,000 subscribers. All you have to do for a chance to enter is be a subscriber to the channel. And then when I hit 10K, I'm gonna select a winner. So you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below. And then when we hit 10K, join me in Alaska. I'm back out here at the same location as yesterday and uh, I've been shooting again. I've gotten some of those bluebirds that I was looking for yesterday. Um, got not any shots that were super close up, but got a few nice shots of the bluebirds out here um, on these sticks today, which um, I really was happy with uh, how those came out. Like I said, not as close as I want to get, um, hopefully when I can come back here and shoot a little more in the future, but I definitely did get some that I liked today and uh, really still loving this lens. One thing that I'm noticing more and more as I shoot on this is that the shallow depth of field that you get with that f4 aperture on this lens just makes for the nicest blurriest backgrounds that you could possibly imagine um, and, and really just crushes that background into total flat blur and uh, the, the bokeh that you get is just so soft smooth buttery satisfying <laughs> Um, it's really just great and um, I really have been enjoying it and at this point really have very little complaints on this lens and I just can't wait to take it out um, you know hopefully back to the Smokies here in a few weeks if I have time um, if not then you know I'll be going back to Yellowstone shortly after that um, and can't wait to take it out and put it on some bears in one of those locations and uh, see what I can get of some bears with this lens now let's get back to shooting
So as you guys saw, I went out to Elk and Bison Prairie this morning, and uh, you guys know that I don't really like shooting out there because um, while they're wild animals, you know, those are wild elk herds that are treated as such, um, they're not technically wild. They're fenced in right now, and the goal is to eventually set them free and cut the fence. Um, so because they're kind of technically captive, but sort of wild. I just don't even like to shoot there. I'd rather just go shoot wild animals that are actually fully wild. But there was really no way for me to test this lens out on large mammals unless I went in there, um, which was something that I really wanted to do for this vlog. So I uh, went in there and shot this morning, got some good stuff, uh, some good video for sure. I don't really think that any of the photos were too great, but I still got some photos. And um, this lens so far has just been amazing. It's fast, it's accurate, it's tack sharp, even with a teleconverter. Produces beautiful backgrounds, is really well built, um, is, you know, pretty heavy, but not too heavy. It's still hand holdable. Um, really, the only complaint that I have to this point is that it doesn't have any zoom to it, which, given that it's a prime lens, is to be expected. Now, one thing that I didn't get to mess around with yet is uh, focus preset and all of that stuff, um, but that'll be stuff that I'll talk about in the review and test out for that video when we get a little bit more more technical about this lens. So for this video with what I have tested on the lens and for all the different scenarios that I've shot it in so far, I've been utterly blown away by the files that it can produce and I am super happy with it. And at this point really just cannot wait to get it out into Yellowstone and the Tetons and uh, start photographing some moose and bears and bison and everything out there with it. It is going to be pretty awesome. So I'm super excited for that guys and that is going to be it for this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe for that Alaska trip giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.